peace peace family so i'm back with another one today what i wanted to do is i wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how the system will make you fearful of the natural way of life it's the system's job to implant as much fear as possible and they do a great job at it by getting your family members and your friends and everybody you care about to join the program with them and one small example I wanted to start off with which is probably a little far out left but it's one of the most extreme measures we can go to right and I just say one of them so I even see with the younger generation it's because the way we're all taught and if you aren't teaching different methods then the next generation is going to follow into what's being taught or what they are seeing and not being shown different a lot of beings say ew to pooping and peeing and farting and burping and certain body odors when your body is telling you that it's in a certain space or in a certain state or it's telling you that you know you just pushed out a lot of toxins out of your body it's really weird hearing people be whiny and complaining about something that's natural you know it's, it's one thing for us to be like, ill, you know, poop, my poop, someone else's poop, you know, but then you go over to other s countries and I've seen in videos, cause I haven't been on no damn planes to go over there. Maybe when we get real pilots that's trustable, not saying there's anything wrong with the planes. And there's people who literally use human feces to make some kind of pie and patties out of it um they use it for not humans poop but cow poop for mulch like it's a lot of things that we use that we call disgusting that is recyclable reusable to the planet and i started off with the most extreme measure because a lot of people do say ill to pooping farting burping any of these things that land over in this obvious department and when you think about it when you are saying ill to something that's natural over here most likely these are the same beings who have a hard time walking outside in the grass with no shoes on you know that has a hard time connecting with nature that has a hard time following what is actually the natural flow of things and what kind of dove me into this process today is, right? I mentioned the extreme, pooping. You know, everybody's afraid of poop, ill poop, poop. I need to hide the poop here. I need to run water while I'm pooping. I need to turn fans on while I'm pooping. I need to make sure I'm double looking in the toilet so there's no more poop in the toilet for anybody that comes in behind me. I personally don't give a fuck about none of it because ah, that's natural. I don't know one person that doesn't poop or pee. If you don't poop or pee, I'm gonna think there's something wrong with you and I'm most likely gonna get away from you because I'm gonna assume you're not a spiritual being having a human experience. I'm gonna assume you're a robot with no bowel movements. So for me taking in these concepts, right? I understood that I don't have to go shopping every day, buying clothes, you know, to fit me better, to look better to present to the universe or to the people who we feel like gives a fuck you know and for me I've always been rebellious right and I think this is funny because when I was younger and I was rebellious I didn't know what I was rebelling I just was rebelling anything that I possibly felt like ah, oh, this didn't feel right or that wasn't logically right or you know I, I was connecting dots and then I was doing it that way and then once I get to another space as I'm ascending I realize oh I just rebel and repel against that demonic witchy shit so for me I had somebody tell me before when I first started my podcast and this motherfucker wasn't interested in me I wasn't even on their radar until I started the podcast and they was local you know what I'm saying so and, and this being had already made some rounds. She was already known for making rounds. So when I, when I uh, when she engaged me, blah blah whatever, you know, I had her up on the 
podcast for an episode and she had made a statement like you look better with your hats on or she said something like I like how you look better with your hats on something in that department we're gonna wait for this plane to I see the river through here though the lake But back to what I was saying, when she made the statement about, oh, she she likes how I appear to her better with my hat on, my spirit was like, take the compliment, right? But I'm such a weird man when it comes to taking compliments because I done dealt with so much witchy shit from guys and females. I don't know if you trying to be a smart ass or not. So in my mind, it was like, oh, she, you know, I do be wearing a hat. She trying to, ah, ah, ah. You know, but then the other side of me was like, wait a minute. This shit ain't natural right here. I don't give a fuck what my shit looks like. You know what I'm saying? So I made it my business when I did my next few episodes of my podcast, right? I made sure that I did not have a hat on. And I did that just because it was like, I didn't want these weird perceptions getting implanted in me that I need to either keep up with the Joneses or I needed new material items outside of me that wasn't natural to make me feel more comfortable in my skin. So I had to check myself. I had to make sure, okay, nigga, do a couple episodes without your hats. Cause I had to look back and see how many I had did with different kind of hats and scullies on. And I'm like, okay, well you do got some without your hat on, but now you got to prove a point and do more without your hats on. You know what I'm saying? So in my mind, I was already willing to, didn't have to be anything personal it was more so of just being as natural and organic as possible don't tell me you can tell me but it's gonna make me work on myself and challenge myself so even if people tell me things that I like or don't like how I perceive it depends on how hard I'm gonna work on myself in that department in their world they wasn't telling me I need to work on my shit with their actual words but with the energy and the way my spirit and the team that I ride for is set up they like mm -mm. If it, the day and age we in right now, we have to stand more solid than any other being around us in the world, period. It's kind of like, ah, this is one of the hardest transitions and weirdest spaces of like life. So each A human civilization before they all had different transitions you got to think before people transitioned into the Egyptian world it was a bunch of shit changing and transforming and then after you know I'm just using Egypt because that's where they like to start shit from I don't care about starting it from here I'm here so I want to start my history here that's where I'm gonna tell my story not his story my story from you know what I mean but not to take away from anybody that's over there in Africa, right? But then even after that happened, they still had to transition to a new segue segment, a new transition in life. So it was either you're going to have some people who's just cool with going with the flow. Hey, and put that put that all in me. Put that all in me. Then you got other ones who like, no, 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 no. You're going to have to square up with me real quick. You're not about to drop that in me. I have no problem going on to my next journey because when I come back, I'll make sure I'm in a much better vessel that's in a much more privileged position to make sure that I could swipe left on everybody. Man, you don't know how many people who have been born in white bodies and people are just like, yo, they just naturally have the black urban culture within them you know that they spirit could have took on one of these vessels in a previous time that energy is still connected to them it's kind of like residue you know what i mean so that's that's the same way we would have to look at these things that we're taking on now during this transition time a lot of beings aren't going to be standing silent and it's going to fuck a lot of our younger ones up going into the next transition you know, it's nobody doing it for us right now. We are it. We are the ones doing it. You know what I mean? This right here, I do this because I love doing this. YouTube minimizes everything. If y'all not aware, if y'all not liking, commenting, and pushing this shit out here, YouTube is not doing it. 
anybody that's speaking or communicating this way you are on the reduction side you know what i'm saying so they minimize and reducing us so the beings who are stepping out here and putting their life on the line and risking a lot you know what i'm saying y'all just gotta understand that some of us just love doing this this is our real life position you will never catch me in front of the camera portraying something that i'm not walking my way of life in real lifetime that's not how i am i'm not one of them made up images that's why i said for most people like you gotta understand like you gotta get back to being natural you know that's that's one of the hardest things it is to do when you've been programmed to put fragrance artificial smells all over your body so then you don't even know what's going on with your body why is the first thing we doing when we got to go into the matrix it's ta 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 it's okay if you want to hide who you are right because we around a lot of demons and vultures and parasites leeches and everything else but the thing is you still got to know who you are you got to know what's the costume and what's you i've never watched superman and see him be in half his costume and half his regular clothes i've never seen batman be in half his costume and half his regular clothes ever wonder woman wonder man wonder land i don't give a damn what pretend superhero it is they make sure that the superhero knows who he is and the image that he has to portray when he's dealing with society you know and that's why i brought up the pooping and the peeing first right away because <laughs> most women are like i don't fart in front of guys and it's like <sighs> You do. You just try to keep it a secret or you try to keep it quiet and silent. And then sometimes they come out lighter. Sometimes it depends on how comfortable you are with people. But this is all. That's the petty side. The bigger picture is how comfortable are you in your skin? How comfortable are you wearing the same clothes every day? Most beings don't even want to wear the same outfit two days in a row. So I know most people is not trying to push three to four or five days. Not in this Western society. You got to understand how privileged and spoiled you are out here in this Western society. That's why I also made it my business to make sure that like. The way I walk my life here I'm, in real life time is the way I'm going to project it and show it here too. I used to do all the designer shit when I was younger when I didn't know any better, you know what I mean? And as I got older, I realized, ah, I'm cool with white tees. I don't need all these other brands and shit to define me. Like, if I want to be defined going into some bougie-ass place, I know how to throw some bougie-ass shit on and say, hey, now when you judge me, you can judge me by your standards and then you can read my energy and you can see how much knowledge I actually have in this vessel that don't look like it pertains to that kind of information that you would think that I got in here. Every time I open my mouth, they're like, oh, you speak so white. No, I don't. I'm knowledgeable. But then what also happens is with the white people, we're communicating with some of them in real lifetime. Sometimes they take my energy as, oh, he's that aggressive nigga over here. The niggas be like, oh, that nigga's too smart or too knowledgeable to be over here. I'm like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about being any of those spaces. Y'all need to be formulate into God's space. I'm in God's space. So if you in God's space, I'm in your space and we're going to operate the same simple process. Everybody trying to put everything else in front of God, the creator. I don't know. Ah. It's a million gods out here, but I love the creator because not too many people use the creator creation. You cannot falsify or or tweak that. But so much even the demons don't even call their gods the creator because they already know that they would be telling the truth. And it's their job to lie. So even with that, just understand it, man, we cannot be afraid and, and pushing away you know a, a natural way of life you don't have to live out in the woods to walk a natural way of life you can minimize some of the shit you wear and some of the things you do you know a lot of people like feel like if they stop eating food they're gonna die it's like no when i don't feel good or i have two fakes cavities or something just going on i just I, it's just a natural fast for me and i know that my body has weight on it so my body first has to lose all the weight first it doesn't matter how i feel when my stomach is touching my back I, i'm not gonna die i have two 
much stored in my body to be processed to keep me alive without food. Simple process. So then that clears out the thing of, well, if I don't eat this junk or if I don't eat this bullshit, how am I going to have energy? You know, water is a liquid, right? I'm more big on liquids anyway, so you'll see me taking on liquids all throughout the day before you see me snacking and munching and eating all day. You know, I do eat and I will snack and I do do these things, you know, and I'm not going to make it seem like, oh, well, I'm the best, healthiest eater in the world. But what I do is I am mindful of what I'm putting in my body. I'm making sure I'm putting the right spells over my treats, snacks, foods, whatever I'm putting in my body everything all of the above and if i do do too much junk or bullshit for a period of time best believe i'm gonna have a couple days of fasting coming up soon my body just does it even if i don't want to my body just be like nah you ain't hungry you ain't hungry i might not get hungry until eight o'clock nine o'clock that night you know but that's just me trying to follow the universe and follow my body you know and and stay in charge of my awareness I have to stay in charge. The minute I start focusing on other things, it's like the opposition comes in with the swords and the milli rocks and everything else. Start chopping, slicing, and dicing. You know what I mean? Even with this right here with my hair, like, I, I hand freestyled these in there. Or I might have got one of my homegirls to do them, but I think I started them and she finished them for me. But it was like, even when I grew my hair out, I grew this shit for like two almost three years before I even locked it up because it really was just a transition from my ex before me and my BM had our thing you know it was like that transitioning phase I wanted to shake the ex off of me and then that's when I kind of met my BM in the process you know so it was like I wasn't doing my shit to grow these because everybody else was growing them or everybody else was doing. I didn't give a fuck about what everybody else was doing I had my hair looking crazy like a motherfucker. When I was going through that crazy transition, I realized life wanted me to go through that. Because that's when I actually moved out to New York with my pregnant BM to try to create a different life and realm. You know what I'm saying? But with most women out here, females, they don't want no goddamn great leader. They just looking to get whatever they can. And, you know, shit is what it is. But I say that to say, like, when I was out in New York, I didn't have my hair locked up or anything, you know? It was just in that weird stage where it's just whatever. You got to be comfortable in your skin. And I'm in the, one of the biggest cities in the world, up and down the train from the Bronx to Manhattan. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, for me, the way life was set up and the way the creator did things, he was kind of putting me in place to be more comfortable within my own skin. So that way, as life transitioned, you know, I can be a useful vessel for the universe and the